Good morning. Welcome to BTH Q Banter Week 10. Now, not only is this Week 10, which I think is pretty epic, BTH Q today is officially six years old. I unlocked that very door and turned on that very same light switch for the first time for our first day of classes six years ago. And I am so proud of that fact. Now we're not having a big party or doing anything particularly special, but I am gonna do a special offer on our social media today and I'm just about to very quickly perform a little live stream before my ladies start arriving so I can tell you all about it. Although, by the time you see this, unfortunately it will be too late for you to enter, but hopefully many of you are already following us on social media and so you did get the chance to win 60 pounds worth of class credits to spend with me, 10 pound per year that we have been open. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear BTHQ, happy birthday to you. BTHQ is six years old today, six years ago today I opened that front door for the first time for our first day of classes. We have been having an absolute hoot here this morning, the ladies are making their sewing machine mats um, and I've got three ladies who are all in sync with each other and having an absolute hoot which is quite fun for me to watch but also really fun for them if you could hear some of this conversation it's absolutely hilarious the camera just keeps turning itself off alexa's just turned itself on yeah someone's controlling the power here at the studio today okay naomi's busy sewing Look at this gorgeous fabric. It's lovely sewing machines. So pretty. We've got visitors in the lounge doing some knitting today. <laughs> right, so this sewing mat, I reckon star pupil of the week no goes to Naomi, oh, oh, who has oh, done oh, a oh, two oh, hour oh, sewing class so far, and that's it that's with me. Brilliant. Part one of our sewing course, and she's just made this beautiful sewing mat. But that's not to say the other ones aren't gorgeous too. We've got this lovely apple one. I love this. So zingy. So, so zingy. And then Cheryl's lovely TikTok clock one. Absolutely super. Well done, ladies. Thanks. That has been such a lovely afternoon. Those ladies, well, a day. Those ladies were so sweet. I'm really, really happy with their mats. Um, I've got my coat on because I've just been out. Um, I decided not to take you with me because I took you last week. Um, but I'd been to Jeff's just to pick up some bits and pieces. Um, nothing exciting, just basics I'm afraid. So it's nothing even worth showing you. But it is now quarter to five. Um, I'm actually going out tonight in Brentwood at seven o'clock. So there is absolutely no point in me going home. Mr Mac is picking up the kids from their various after school activities. I'm going to stay here, tidy the studio up and have a little bit of crafty me time before I pop out. Um, but I will say bye for now and I will see you again tomorrow. Good morning, it is Saturday, I'm back at BTHQ. I'm very excited because last night I made the decision to order that Simplicity sewing pattern, which if you've watched my knitting and stitching show vlog, which has gone up by now, you will have seen. So I went online, I looked on Amazon because I've got Prime, so I thought I really want it today, like right now, because I want to get going, I want to get sewing, um, and they didn't have it on Amazon, but they did have it on the Hobbycraft website, here it is. Um, and it was reduced to £4.50, which is superb. Um, so I treated myself to next day delivery because Hobbycraft do next day delivery on Saturdays. So it could have arrived any time between 8 o'clock this morning and I think six o'clock tonight but it was going to be delivered here to the studio so i took a chance on whether i'd actually get a chance to cut it out and sew it today but it is just gone half past nine and mr hermes delivered it so i'm dead chuffed there isn't even any students here yet and i can get started on this so i'm really excited so thank you hobbycraft um although i don't really rate you much as a shop if i'm honest um your online service and delivery is superb so this is the simplest easy to sew one three five five 
Have I got the right size? Yes. <laughs> oh, I panicked there. Um, and it is a jersey jumpsuit. So I'm very excited about getting that sewn up for my holidays. I've got the lovely Becca coming in today to make another one of those project bags that we made last week. And Sam is coming in to make a Kichiku lady skater dress. And I know quite a few ladies are coming in to use the lounge. So it should be another lovely day. Game begin. simple but it's got lots of really good I mean it's great because it's got lots of facings and all sorts of stuff in it which is obviously makes for a really nice finish yeah. I'm used to just sticking bands on everything but there's so many bits when the drum beats go play this well, that was a somewhat uneventful <laughs> video from today. I'm back home again now. It's half past three on Saturday. All my ladies got their work finished by three o'clock. Um, so I decided, do you know what? I'm going to come home and spend a couple of hours at home with the kids. But I've just got in and nobody's home. So they've obviously taken themselves off somewhere with daddy. Um, so I'm going to sit down and enjoy a little bit of cheeky crochet time. So I did cut out the paper pattern, as you saw, for my jumpsuit. I decided against cutting out the fabric because I needed really to spread out on the big long table. So I need to do that on a day when there's no one else in the studio. I did also cut out the paper pattern for my beach pyjamas. And I've decided that I'm going to make a twirl out of an old duvet cover. So I pinned that and cut it. Um, but that was as far as I got with that today. And then I've spent the rest of the day prepping for next week's classes. We've got a super busy week next week um, with four fully booked classes, including Roman blinds and our one day intensive sewing course, both of, both of which take quite a bit of preparation. So I've been putting bits together for those. So yeah, busy day all in all. I will see you again tomorrow when I'm gonna take you shopping. Um, it's Sunday, so it is my day off, um, but Izzy and I are heading to Lakeside and we have bits some pieces that we need to pick up for the studio so I thought I'd take you with me on a trip to Costco. The tea, the tea, the tea. Get some coffee from behind. Let's have a look. Costco. This way. Oh, we need some milk as well. So we buy UHT milk for A2, um, not tea. No, this is for work, not home. So we buy the UHT milk so that it doesn't go off because it doesn't get drunk as quickly. Just milk. Might get that. It's just milk, yeah. not any other things. Just. But no, it says just milk on the bottles. Like that's weird. What's this? Mel... Mela... Oh it's it's heavy. It's heavy. Ah! The milk. And more milk. Lots of stuff. And then sugar. Sugar. Ideally we want sugar cubes. Also, Mummy, after this, can I tidy this up again? Tidy the trolley? Yes. Yeah, because then we'll have more room, because they keep on just dumping stuff. And there will be no room for me to there sit in no the trolley. You. you shouldn't really be sitting in the trolley, health and safety. But I like it. <laughs> it is easy. Hershey's! Oh, Hershey's hot chocolate, you're not having that. Oh, what I thought it was Hershey's because Hershey's are my favourite American candy. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I like the um, white chocolate with the little... The cookies, like, that's alright, that's not too bad. Also, right. Jack said that his favourite ones were the ones that I brought back from America. The cookies and cream. Yeah. yeah. They're not too bad. Right, we need to find sugar. Mummy, 
You're recording, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. So people get all your silly conversation. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Crashed. I'm going to ask this lady. Sugar. So it might be with baking. I could have been missing it. It might be. Ooh, do you want to try these? Chocolate dipped pineapple rings. Ooh, yeah. How do you like those? They're nice. They're, um... I don't like pineapple, but you do. Do you want to try yep. it? Yeah. Nice. Getting about mm. 25 rings in the bag. Very nice. Nice. That's chewy. Okay, we'll have a Where's sugar, please? Is it? Have I missed uh, it? Yeah, we would be tea and coffee. Yeah, I've just been up and down with tea and coffee. I don't uh, have any sugar anyway. Oh, oh, good. I'll have another look, thanks. Let's try it again. Oh. Look out for sugar. That is cute. Yeah, that's expensive, that pineapple. £10.42 for 20 bits. Well, it's nice. It's, it might be nice, but it's a lot of money and it looks like it's pulling your teeth out. I like the pineapple bit, but then the chocolate doesn't really mix. No. And like, I could barely chew it. Oh look, there it is, sugar. Oh no, that's soy milk. No, she's talking out of her bottom. I'm afraid there is no sugar in this aisle. That's a bit rude. There's sugar there, look. It's in the other aisle. Boom! Boom, we She's found wrong. It. Wrong baby, never mind. Right, sugar. Now I don't want to buy a big bag of that. I'd like to buy sugar cube. I can't even see it, so I can't film it. It's behind you. It's a ginormous bag of sugar, but I want some sugar cubes because that's easier at work. But I don't think we've got it, so we might have to just go to the supermarket for that. That's a shame. Mommy, can I stop filming? Yes. My hands are aching. Good morning, it is Tuesday, um, although the whole way to work this morning, for whatever reason, I thought it was Wednesday, so I thought I was teaching classes that I'm actually teaching tomorrow, um, hence I was driving to work really slowly, pottering because I wasn't starting till 10, um, but actually I'm starting at half past nine. I then managed to drive straight past the unit, just kept going, headed into Brentwood, oblivious completely oblivious before I realised and had to turn around and come back so something tells me I need a bit more sleep <laughs> anyway I didn't film anything yesterday I was in here but I was only in here for about an hour and a half um, I was just cutting out in preparation for this week's classes and um, had a quick workout with Tim and then I spent the rest of the day at the dentist so I thought that's quite boring but my teeth are looking cleaner anyway we have free machine embroidery on today and I think Naomi is coming in just to get on with some of her own personal sewing projects. So it should be a really nice day. It's a hive of activity here at BTHQ. Viv's in the background here, winding some yarn. Although, she's got a tangle. Nope, yep, she's going. Winding some yarn. Naomi's popped in. She's working on another sewing mat. I can't keep her away at the moment. And then the ladies are behind me, busily free motion embroidering. Is that a term? Yeah. yeah. It's now. It is now, exactly. Um, so they're just at the stage where they're just having a play and getting a feel for the machines um, before after lunch they go on to doing a little bit of a pique. So we're all done for another day, heading off on the school run now. Um, everyone's gone home. I'll pop some pictures up here while I talk to you um, just of the work that people created today. I love the free machine embroidery class. It's really nice because they just kind of lose their inhibitions. So when they get started, they come in and sort of tentatively stitch a few lines and by the end of it they're creating all sorts of wonderful masterpieces with fabric and fun funky stitches so it's lots and lots of fun um, I've set up ready for tomorrow morning's class we've got week two of our three week beginners um, all the machines are threaded and all sorted and all tidy um, so I know that I can just walk in tomorrow and hit the ground running so I will see you in the morning good morning it's Wednesday and we have beginner sewing fully in steam all the ladies are busy stitching and they are making their tote bags today this afternoon we've got all of last week's ladies from crochet for beginners coming back in and um, so another busy day in the studio i'll show you what this lovely lot have made later on so the ladies have finished their boxes what do you reckon girls 
Yay, Yay. they're amazing. How are you feeling? Proud. <laughs> yes. More confident, Sarahs? Definitely. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Achieved something. And it was a very enjoyable task. Yeah. Yay. Yes. Do it again, do it again. Oh. I stopped recording. What did you say, Emily? I'm a really great teacher. Yay. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming in with my camera. Mm. Oh, no. Making roses. Rosy roses. <laughs> You've come on leaps and bounds from last week. Hmm. I'm going to have to show you this amazing mat that Naomi has made. She's made a second one this week. <laughs> but just look at that. This gorgeous, gorgeous Michael Miller fabric. And check out the binding. Beautiful. Lovely mitre corners, gorgeously top stitched. You should be very proud of yourself, oh, young yeah. lady. I'm, I'm really pleased. <laughs> so we're all done for another yeah. week of BTHQ banter. This has been week 10, I think. Um, so tomorrow is Thursday, it is my day off. I'm actually having a day off tomorrow, although I am going to be recording some more videos for you for YouTube, including a much long awaited what have I been sewing video because I know you're all desperate to see. So I shall say thank you for watching. Please, please, please subscribe. Hit the big subscribe button. And if you want to, give this a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I will see you all again next week. Bye.